capping, bro. He's capping, right? Always. Hey, yo, Swag, how much was that shirt, man? Bro, stop. <laughs> What do you want to get? Yeah. Five guys, man. <laughs> Five guys. What's good? Yeah, see a little motivation for, <laughs> for the content creators. Just do it. Just do it, bro. Just do it. That's what you said last time. Oh, <laughs> Big baller. <laughs> you guys capping? <laughs> yeah, Sprat and, and Chris. <laughs> where we at? Where we at, boss? All right, so we at the headquarters at an unknown location. I don't know where we're at though. About to play him dubs. <laughs> Vibing. Okay. Hey, you ready? Because I'm gonna ready, nuke bro. you. Get on the team. Shut the fuck! Okay, I'm gonna nuke you, bro. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. I'm gonna nuke you, bro. If you're on the other team. Imagine if I do though. Imagine. Imagine if you what? If I nuke your ass. Yo, you'd have to play that clip too. Oh yeah, 100. percent That's going on Twitter, by the way. Now you're getting a little nervous. Look at you. <laughs> That's a viral tweet right there, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, bro. We got Testy up in here, man. How much time play you got on Black Ops 3, bro? 100 days, baby. Jesus Christ. 100 plus. Something's happening. Oh, look. Let's go, man. I had an unbelievable experience over at LA, not only been able to fly out to play Modern Warfare early for you guys and myself, but to meet other creators that do what I do. Shout out to Activision for flying me out. Definitely feel a little undeserved of the invite since I'm pretty vocally immature sometimes, I'm not going to lie, uh, but I really do appreciate the invite guys. You guys are amazing and uh, nothing but respect. So we're going to dive right into a lot of information for today's video and what the video felt like to what you can expect come to the beta and actual release of the game. So over on my Twitter, I gave about three codes for the Modern Warfare game. I want to do the same for my YouTube viewers as well. All I'm asking for today is a simple like on today's video and a comment of your PSN ID or Xbox gamer tag down below. And I'll pick some people over the course of the next few weeks. And of course, your boy will be hooking you guys up with a lot of beta codes. So make sure you guys are indeed subscribed. So let's get straight into the Modern Warfare information. So I think the main question is, is if the game feels clunky. First of all, there's no mini map. Okay, so let's just get, let's get that out the way. Does the game feel clunky? No, it does not. I actually felt the same way as well when I looked at it from a video and stream perspective. It looked like the movement was a little bit clunky and that the animations of the guns might have interfered with the aim down speeds and the pull up speeds in the gunfight. It really didn't. So what everybody's looking at is that double sprint little gun flare thing. Everybody has double sprint. To double sprint, you click L3 twice and sprint as you would when you double sprint the gun actually flares up which is the trade-off to sprinting just you know just normally by clicking l3 once i played my first game on tdm and it felt natural it felt like call of duty and i will say that there's a crap ton of recall on most of these weapons but like there's 30 to 60 attachments per weapon which i found pretty crazy um and i actually found myself just trying to put on attachments that just increase the accuracy bar over anything but I will tell you one thing, uh, it's going to be pretty tricky trying to figure out the best class setups that dominate because there's literally over a thousand different types of combinations you can put on one single weapon, um, which is pretty crazy. So this game, Modern Warfare, features a gunsmith, which is pretty much your own created class, but on crack. Uh, so for example, let's look at the M4A1 assault rifle. The gun has customizable muzzles, lasers, barrels, under barrels magazines rear grips stocks optics and i'm still going like i'm running <sighs> i'm running out of breath and perks okay there's a lot of stuff that you can put on this weapon and when i saw this i lost full this is what i've been wanting in a call of duty for the longest customization endless choices to make a gun fit your own play style and i definitely felt that when i was messing around with the gunsmith so let's say you wanted to put on a small suppressor on the m4a1 you're getting a three plus bonus <coughs> sorry about that ah. Mm. 
You're getting a 3 plus bonus on the sound suppression, but the trade off is a minus in damage range, aim down sight speed, idle sway control, and bullet velocity. Yes, there is bullet drop in this game and it's quite noticeable. I'm still on the fence about this feature. Uh, yeah, it's a realistic feature, but does it really belong in Call of Duty? I have no idea and it probably doesn't, but it's whatever. Uh, I found myself only noticing this drop in long range gunfights, like in the 10v10s or 20v20s. Yes, Ground War is back and. Back better than ever 20 v freaking 20 and you guys are seeing that in the gameplay today um so yeah there's other muzzles like the muzzle break which gives you a two plus bonus in horizontal recoil control and minus one in idle sway control and aim down sight speed so it really just depends on what you need and what you want on your gun uh you also have an option that you also have the option to put a perk on a weapon which gives you more options just to deck out your weapon like sleight of hand and stuff like that and a headshot xp bonus so uh, possibilities are going to be endless when it comes to the gunsmith so you know you have your regular standard perks which you're allowed three of them and guys i'm going to be completely honest with you i am very excited for this game not only just for the game but to start streaming again with you guys i had so much fun doing those 24 hour kickoff live streams with all of you and i'm just looking forward to chatting with you guys come to october it's going to be a great time for gaming again just grinding out the levels and procedures it's what makes the game fun for me. Uh, I also met another YouTuber at the hotel lobby, and he goes by the name of Prestigious Key. He's an OG of the community, and he told me he asked about leaderboards to the developers. He did say that the devs told him that leaderboards will be in the game, but the question is, is if the leaderboards are going to be actual ones and the ones that uh, we had back in like uh, Modern Warfare 2. You know, the ones we have in Black Ops 4, it's a bit of a doozy. You know what I mean? It's just limited to friends. We can't even see it like globally. You have to go on the app. So uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, then you have your kill streaks, And if you guys didn't see the trailer, yes, there will be a tactical nuke. Now, I don't know if it's going to be an equipable streak or a thing where everybody just has it enabled. But we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, also, since there is no minimap, was, which was a little strange to me since I found myself not knowing where I was going in TDM. I'm not going to lie. UAV and advanced UAV are going to play a huge role in the game. I found myself saying... Uh, yo, good shit, Ocean on the UAV, bro. Like, like, dude, what? It's a four kill streak, and I'm praising somebody for a UAV. UAVs are gonna be super important. So, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let the gameplay roll out. Hopefully, you guys, do enjoy this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys drop a comment down below and and stuff like that, so I can hook you guys up with some beta codes and the actual game codes. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys drop a like and uh, comment down below. Like I said, your gamer tag and your PSN and what you guys want for Modern Warfare. And uh, hopefully we get some more information pretty soon, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.